a dog more akin to a giant mob to a canine known as the biggest in Japan, here are the biggest dog breeds in the world. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Scottish Deerhound. Bred to be a good hunter, the Scottish Deerhound is one of the world's oldest hunting breeds. Originally hailing from Scotland, big shock I know, the Deerhound was used to chase deer down. With their big boned and long legs, this dog is the perfect one for this job, as it can reach a max speed of about 28 miles per hour. Reaching up to an impressive 32 inches in height and weighing up to 110 pounds, this breed actually almost did go extinct at one point. This was due to exclusive ownership of the breed going to families of nobility and limiting the breeding of said hounds. Thankfully though, the breed was brought back from endangerment in the 19th century through conservation efforts and also becoming more widely available to the public. Loyal, affectionate, this big canine is the perfect dog for families with kids on top of still being a fine hunting hound. Just be careful of having other animals, they do have a natural hunter drive, so some attentive monitoring of their interactions is heavily needed. Number 9. The Caucasian Shepherd Weighing in at a still impressive 130 pounds, the Caucasian Shepherd is a powerful breed of dog, bred for protecting their owner's properties and livestock from predators. A lot of these predators include bandits, wolves, foxes, and of course the biggest of them all, friggin' bears. The Caucasian Shepherd is fierce, fearless, and can back up that ferocity with naturally strong bones and even more powerful muscles. While the Shepherd may be smaller than our next several entries, it more than makes up for its weight with its protector sense. While it is very mild-mannered and will lovingly protect its family, strict training will be required for its temperament. Otherwise, owners will run the risk of having their dog attacking other people or animals in defense of them. Also, be careful when walking them. They can knock you off your feet when they run because they can take off like a rocket. Number 8. The Great Dane Another smaller breed on this list, the Great Dane is actually regarded as the biggest dog breed by a lot, and while it isn't by any measure, it still does easily earn this spot on our list today. Growing to a very respectable weight of 120 pounds and growing up to 30 inches, this dog has origin roots in Germany, being bred for the sole purpose of boar hunting. This dog was easily powerful enough to hold a wild boar in place, and that was until its owner would come to finish the pig off. While Great Danes themselves are not big enough to top our list, one notable Dane named Zeus had a weight of 155 pounds as well as he did grow to a staggering 44 inches in length, and at standing height topped nearly 7.5 feet. Heck, he even received a Guinness World Record in 2012 for his stature. Number 7. The Saint Bernard. Anyone here remember the Beethoven movies? Oh, only me. I miss the 90s. Well, the movies were about a happy big dog who made life miserable for his owner. That formula might be common nowadays for dog movies, but Beethoven had probably the cutest and fuzziest mascot for its movie. Speaking of Beethoven, here's the breed who made said movie, the Saint Bernard. The Saint Bernard was bred in the Swiss Alps for the purpose of rescuing people lost in the snowy mountains. And with a recorded count of 2,000 people rescued, this breed is pretty good at its job. Bernards can grow as tall as 36 inches and generally weigh in at 120 pounds. However, there was one Bernard named Benedictine who weighed an astonishing 366 pounds. An absolute unit, this one. While St. Bernards are still used for mountain rescue, St. Bernards can also be a loving family member, all around gentle with children and get along well with other pets. And honestly, just look at its face, it's so scrunchy, I love it. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I love dogs. Number 6. The Commodore. The Commodore is... let's not sugarcoat it here. It's the world's biggest mob. Hailing from Hungary, this dog was bred to be a guard dog to defend their owner's property and livestock. Nowadays, this dog is considered a national treasure in its own country. Weighing in at a hefty 130 pounds and growing up to 31.5 inches, this dog deserves a place on this list. While the Commodore are good pets and will be happy to tackle you and smother you in love and hair, you're going to want to have a house with a nice big yard as the Commodore is more on the energetic side and can get stir crazy very, very easily. They also do bark a lot and need discipline and social training to be good around neighbors. So expect a few sleepless nights here and there because you're pupper to creak in the house. Number 5. The Newfoundland. Raised as a fisherman's help rather than a hunting or attack dog, the Newfoundland was commonly found helping fishermen with hauling fishing nets and boating equipment. 
Having such a calm life and temperament is actually pretty impressive, as this dog's ancestors include the American Black Wolf as well as other European dogs found in Newfoundland. Newfoundlands are fluffy, cute, dependable, and above all else, affectionate to the extreme, being a perfect family dog as they're both gentle and fiercely protective. And weighing in at a whopping 200 pounds, you really couldn't ask for better home security. Or a fishing buddy. Number 4. The English Mastiff The English Mastiff has an interesting history, being bred for use in barbaric blood sports. They were often used in Old Britain for baiting bulls, bears, and also to take on lions. And the stunning thing? They could take those beasts due to their size and strength, growing to about 30 inches and weighing up to 220 pounds. They were so impressive that Julius Caesar took some for himself when he invaded Britain. Just so he could have them fight against lions. Progressive Caesar. Nowadays, the English Massive is looked upon as a loving and happy family pet, often being used as therapy dogs and search and rescue dogs. Mellow, calm, extremely loyal, and only really requiring some daily walks and certain training, this dog is massive but couldn't be more perfect for your family. Number 3. The Borable. The Borable is a breed originating from South Africa, with its name meaning farm dog in Dutch. This breed is very intelligent, obedient, and with proper training, these dogs make some good family dogs. However, they do have a very strong territorial instinct. As such, special attention is needed for this dog, with heavy socializing and obedience training needed. You also must be very careful when introducing them to strangers in your domicile, as they could become defensive if they're not properly introduced. Weighing in at 220 pounds and growing to 27 inches tall, this is a dog that's a great farmhand and companion for your family. Again, train this thing, it could really do some damage to someone. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This dog has an impressive genetic history involving three big breeds of dogs and is often used for similar work of those breeds. Also, just look at it, it's just a big fuzzy. <laughs> With that said though, here is number two. The Leon Burger. The Leon Burger is a combo pack of three existing breeds, that being the St. Bernards, the Newfoundlands, and the Pyrenean Mountain Dog. That said, these guys are pretty impressive, but a bit less hefty than most of our other picks, coming in at a respectable 27.5 inches and weighing in at only about 140 to 150 pounds. Despite being a big ol' fuzzy wuzzy, this dog is used extensively in rescue work, herding, and due to their water-resistant coat, swimming as well. Aside from having a very high rate of shed, this dog is quite easy to take care of, being kind and playful and perfect for children and other family pets. Just have a good groomer in mind or shaving razor at the ready or else you're going to be using your vacuum cleaner quite a bit. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Tosa Inu the Tose Inu is a dog hailing from Japan and is made up of several species of dogs. In its blood, it holds the lineage of several other Japanese breeds, as well as some notable European breeds, including Mastiffs, Bull Terriers, and Great Danes. With that said, this dog comes in at a hefty 200 pounds and can grow up to 32 inches. Their origins, sadly, are a bit less happy, as they were originally bred to be fighting dogs, even earning the nickname of canine sumo wrestlers. While I'm unsure if they're still used for those barbaric purposes, I do know that they're better watchdogs and are quite comfortable in a family setting nowadays. The Tosa is very affectionate with its family and more apathetic with strangers rather than aggressive. Though if it does see another dog, it may act aggressively if they're not familiar with said dog, having that reaction ingrained in its nature. Some of the other names given to this beautiful breed are the Tosa Ken, the Tosa Token, and the Japanese Mastiff. And that is our video for today, everybody. Tell me, what was your favorite big breed? Did I leave any out? Let us know in the comments below. I'd actually love to hear more about dogs. With all that said and done, though, that is our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.